Hello everyone, welcome to SciEase. In the last video, we discussed about the physical nature of matter. Here, I will discuss characteristics of the particles of the matter. We know that matter that is made up of particles. So what are the characteristics of these particles of the matter? The first characteristic that is particles of the matter have space between them. In the last video, we performed one or two activities. In one activity, we dissolved spoon full of salt in water. And in another activity, we dissolved potassium permanganate crystal in clear water. In both the cases, there are other examples also when we prepare Nimbu Pani at home. That is also the example. Then where the particles of that salt or potassium permanganate that has gone, particles of salt or potassium permanganate that, that mixes, that goes into the spaces between water molecules. So, the first property that particles of the matter, they have spaces between them. Now, second characteristic of the particles of the matter, that is, the particles of matter are continuously moving. Here also, I will tell you one or two activities. Now, you take glass or beaker full of water and then put drop of blue or red ink by the side of the beaker. What you will observe? You will see and keep it aside, you will see that the after an hour you can say or before that also, the whole water that will become blue or red. Why? Because the particles of the matter, they are moving. You can take another example. We take the incense stick, agarbatti, keep it unburnt in one of the corner of your room. It will not produce any smell. You come very closer to the agarbatti, then you can feel a very little smell. But when you burn it, what will happen that you can have the smell, very pleasant smell throughout the room. You can take many more examples. You can take again one beaker, third activity I'm going to tell you. You can take glass full of water or beaker full of water. Put few crystals of potassium permanganate or copper sulfate in it. Do not stir it. Keep it aside. What will you observe? After some time, the, the, you will see that the particles, they are moving. They are moving continuously and after some time, the whole beaker that will become the water in that beaker, the solution will become pink or when we put copper sulfate crystals, then it will become blue. So why this happened in all these activities? Because particles of the matter, they are continuously moving. Okay? Now one thing I want to tell you that these particles which are continuously moving, they possess what we call the kinetic energy. Okay? 
as the temperature as the temperature rises the particles they will move faster they will gain more kinetic energy and they will move faster so this intermixing of the particles of two different types of the matter on their own what is that known as it is the diffusion why the whole room that will uh, that we will feel a pleasant smell in that room it is only due to the diffusion what is diffusion i have told you in uh, the fundamental unit of life chapter that the moment of the particles from the higher concentration to the lower concentration that is the diffusion so the intermixing of the particles of the two different types of the matter on their own that is known as diffusion so the second characteristic of particles of the matter that is particles of the matter are continuously moving so two characteristics i have told you now the third characteristic that is particles of the matter they attract each other for this uh we will do a very interesting activity go to the field and make four groups of children the first group that will each group uh, suppose each group is having uh, five children the first group will hold each other from the back and lock it like the bihu dance okay second group they will hold their hands hand to hand okay and the third group they will just touch their fingers with each other 15 students they are involved in this activity now the remaining five students what they will do that they will break they will break this chain they are making the chains now so they will break these chains and you can uh, can you tell that which chain that will be that will be broken down easily the third one where the children they are only touching their fingers okay so why i am telling you this activity suppose each child it behaves as one particle of a matter okay so there is some attractive forces in case of the first group where they are holding from the back like the bihu like in the bihu dance there what happens strong attractive forces are there between the particles but in the third case the attractive forces they are very weak so particles of the matter they attract each other and these particles they have force acting between them and these four this force that keeps the particles together the more the attractive forces the more tightly the particles they will be held together so these are very important characteristics of the particles of the matter i hope the things are clear to all of you so go through it thoroughly i will come with the next video of this chapter in the coming days thank you